Welcome back folks, this is Anthony Valentine, your camper nerd. Here we are on lockdown two, three foot, I can't keep up. Hopefully this is going to cheer you up. This is a 1990 VW T25 petrol with an LPG conversion. Uh, story with this one, I'll do it better on the description below. So if you just look under this video, there'll be a few words, my name, details and the link to the advert. Uh, I bought it a year ago drove it back from Hull, the last owner had it for the best part of eight or nine years, he was a VW fanatic, he self-serviced it for all that time, um, changing oil and filters annually, he replaced all the water pipes from the front to back with chrome pipes, uh, yeah it was his pride and joy so I'm sure it's clearly going to show through on this video and all the pictures I'm going to show. Um, so I drove it back, a couple of months later, got it ready for sale, uh, advertised, just about to advertise as it were, went to get the paperwork, I've lost the paperwork, I cannot find it, I've searched high and low. Uh, so I've lost the logbook, all the service history, he had a reconditioned engine when he got it nine years ago, uh, and he had an LPG professional conversion carried out, that's fully working, I've tested it, I drove it 100 mile back from Hull on the LPG conversion and I've used it. Uh, around locally, no problem whatsoever, but unfortunately I've lost all the paperwork, can you believe folks? I'm still hoping it's going to turn up, I think it's got mixed up with some other motorhome paperwork. As luck would happen, uh, I've got some pictures of it, so I'm going to put the pictures in the advert, so I've got pictures of this service history uh, and some paperwork, but not all of it I'm afraid. So have a look in the advert and all that will be there. Uh, for tax in it, so it's had six owners, are you going to be number seven? Taxing it, no problem, we can tax it now without a logbook. We can apply a log for a logbook. I don't want to apply for a logbook because I'll end up with another name in the logbook. I can do that if you wish. If you want me to apply for a logbook and then pass it on to you, or we can do the paperwork trail and tax it in your name and you'll get a new logbook in your name. I'll leave that to you. Okay, it's absolutely stunning. This has been outside at my place for the best part of a year. I think it's about 10 months. I had MOT 10 months ago. Well, you just have to look at the MOT history on this one. Would you believe the last 9, 10, 11 MOTs, it's not had a single advisory. Just took it for MOT this morning, straight through. No advisories again. Uh, it just keeps gliding through. It's just testament to the last owner. Uh, the wheels were just slightly looking their age when I got it, as I say, about 10 or 11 months ago. So I've had four refurbished wheels put on and four new chrome moon dishes. It just finishes it off nice. Let's have a sneak peek inside. So it's the auto homes cameo. It's the high top. This was how it was converted from brand new. Would you believe that's 31 years old? So coming round, even both the front seats swivel round. What a feature and what a find. So we'll just come round the back again. I'll go into micro detail, but I'm really going to struggle to find negatives with this. On each wheel arch, it's all metal, it's obviously um, being looked after. Tiny little mark, one little mark, a bubble on each wheel arch. So I've done some pictures of that in the description, but the last part of this video, I'll go into minor detail now. So there's the engine. With the wonders of editing, I'll do the second part of this video with the seats up, but there it is. Um, so that's the LPG conversion and the pipes going through and there's just an automatic switch. When you're driving, you press the switch on the dashboard and lo and behold, it automatically goes into LPG mode. It's got a, I think it's a 52 litre tank. Now I've actually done a video, I'm just going to edit this section in a short while and you're going to watch a video I've made of the underside. I've mentioned it's got two spur wheels. My mistake, the front spur wheel carrier underneath the front is actually the LPG tank. What a great idea. So there is the spur wheel. Yeah, it really is nice this. So, uh, oh. One thing to note, the last owner never had the water tank connected. He removed it when he bought it, so that slides under the rock and roll bed. Um, he wanted extra space under the rock and roll bed, so he put his bedding under there. So that's removed. You can put that back in and attach the water, but it's there for the future owner to decide. Okay, let's uh, take you underneath. 
and let's have a look underneath. So here we are on the ramp. I'm just going to show the underside. Last owner clearly, you can see there, he's put a chrome silencer box on. No, she really is nice, this, for when you consider, I think it's 31 years old. It's had a lot of preventative medicine, as it were, underneath. And the last owner put brand new chrome water pipes from the front to the back. Uh, you can see it's got some wax oil in at some stage paint over the uh, chassis but done nicely yeah really is nice and solid hence why it's just passed its MOT again for the 12th or 13th year on the trot with not a single advisory there's your spur wheel carrier you've actually got two spur wheels and they're all matching yeah all solid again Depending on your fussiness levels, you could take this up to show standard up to the next level. But as it is, it's a very nice, usable vehicle. Okay, so we'll just do a little finish off with just showing the uh, showing the uh, underside sills and the arches. But now, even all the bumper, I just like the fact that all the bumper is original. very clearly been looked after this so there's the LPG working conversion again front bumper and all the trims all original underneath the front bumper okay back onto the uh, top side section okay I did say she was nice underneath can you believe that's 31 years old yeah, it's definitely had some uh, good wax oiling and being looked after, clearly underneath. Same story, underneath the door shuts, the window, uh, the window sills, the door sills, it's just absolutely fantastic. And the drive is just amazing. In fact, let's go on a little drive. Let's show you the LPG working. So, let's start the engine and go on a little road trip. There she is. So we're going to select first, back into first, the dog leg box. Lights on. Wait for the car to go. Oh, we've got a bongo here, bongo camper. She's gone. Right, let's safely move into second gear. Nice and smooth gears. This is just so pleasurable to drive. It's like a little magic carpet feeling. It just floats along into third. Silky smooth gear changes. turning shortly at the roundabout and then I'll demonstrate the gas conversion working on the return journey into fourth let's put the heater on nice and hot folks yep lovely we'll just turn that down so it's not interfering with the microphone but there we are we're doing 40 mile an hour in fourth gear 45 into top fifth gear silky smooth rev counter in the way of gadgets, a rear demist, a rear heated window. Well, I love windows, and that's about it. Now, this is one thing I just want to show you just got that little seal there that's just coming down. So, I don't want to change that. You purists might know what to do, or but let's just concentrate safely on going around the roundabout. and demonstrate the LPG conversion. So we've got a button here, a little display, that's got the red light above the fuel, so that's on petrol. So we're into third gear now. The last owner has recommended changing about 50 to 60 mile an hour. That gives it a smoother changeover. So we're now selecting fourth at 40 mile an hour. We're into 45. Just approaching 50 into top gear. Right, little button here folks, so we just press that once to the central section, twice, we've got 
got four green lights. Now that is just giving us a little bit of, it's hard to pick up, a little bit of a flutter there. And in a second now, it will kick in. That's just, I can feel that now. There we go. And that is now cooking on gas as it were. So we are now powered on LPG. So we can just uh, down into fourth, accelerate away, back into fifth. And that is now, there's a green amber light, a yellow amber light above the G for gas. And we've got four green LEDs that's showing it's a full tank of LPG. So we are now perfectly on LPG. It'll tick over, it will drive perfectly fine all the way through there. You can switch the engine off if you want and then start on petrol. But that will successfully drive on LPG all day long. What a find this was. Just turn left. I'm just going to lower down the gears. Showing the LPG working still. We'll just accelerate a little bit. We're on a 30 mile an hour road now. So we'll just see if we can go into petrol. So we're in gas now. We'll press that. We go straight up. It's just cut the revs down now. Just a little bit fluttery while it's going to automatically switch over back onto the fuel, back onto petrol. I can put my foot down and there we are. Perfectly fine. This is just magnificent. As I say, large steering wheel. We'll go around this roundabout again. It just, I, I just love driving this. Down into second, we'll come round. Just taking the steering wheel like that. It's not really heavy. The only time you notice it is parking at a tight spot. Um, but you can actually get an electric conversion now for these T25, the Type 25s. Um, I think they're coming in about £500. So if you want to do your homework, but I think it's part and parcel of the old school driving experience is driving it as it came out the factory without the power steering. Well, that's up to you if you wish to add a power steering to it. Okay, back on with the description. Yeah, I did say it makes you smile. I can literally remember driving this back from Hull nearly a year ago and the hairs on the back of my neck was standing up. I know that sounds corny, but you will realise when you're driving it. It is just absolutely wonderful. It just floats along. Okay then. So without further ado, let's show you inside and all the features. So, moving in. Well, it's just a delight to show this off. That's just all the original features. Um, Leisure battery underneath there. You got a heavy duty Bosch battery. Let's see if we can pull that back just to show it. Yep, there we go. That's the engine battery. Five speed, the old dog leg. First gear. Look at the size of that steering wheel. There's lots of little features here. Can you see the original seating? A tiny little bit of wear there. I don't think we're going to uh, worry about that. The headlining. Now, that's just too good to be 31 years old. I think this has had a light refurbishment at some stage. But it really is nice. Headlining. Lovely. So I'm just spanning slowly around to the side. So we've got the rock and roll bed. And there's the table in the rear position we'll just remove that table so we can just get access to a little few more features that looks like the original carpet i can't see any reason why not uh, so the last owner he removed underneath here uh, underneath there was the water carrier that can be hooked back on again but it is removed because he didn't want to use it he used it for extra bedding space underneath there uh, I've checked out all the the lights work fine the main supply and hookup is testing out fine reading spotlight there I can't get the gas to work I'll have I'll ask me uh, service engineer in a couple of days if you can have a quick look but I've just plugged that in that's sparking but the gas that fridge is not working so assume the fridge is not working there's the sink but the Last owner, there's the loose tap, who wants a tap fitting on there, but obviously he never used the water system. He just carried 
a bottle of water with him. Uh, there's your hob, all working fine. I'm glad to report the most important thing, I suppose. Nice blue flames on the hob and the grill. That looks like it's been replaced at some stage. And that grill's working fine, so the grill is testing out and that's safe, as well as the hob. We've got lots of cupboards. There's the override safety shut-off valves for the gas. What have we got in here? A little cutlery tray. Uh, oh, an extra sink draining space. Didn't realise that was there. More space and a deep space that'll go all the way down there. Well, the interior is just absolutely fantastic. I think the only thing I could note is this here to the surface. Someone's put a bit of sellotape on that, obviously, as the last owner, just to protect it, make it. I'd actually probably glue that down carefully. I wouldn't want to be changing that. I think that's really it. The mains electric, fuse box, all the piping. Now that's the water inlet for the, uh, yeah, for the big tank. So you've got the outside tap and then you could connect a pipe there if you wanted to connect a water pipe at some stage. This is just lovely. Oh! He's changed that bulb to an LED bulb. Reading spotlight there. So above the rear bird, again the upholstery. And the material is just absolutely fantastic. This must have been uh, rechanged, I would have thought. What did I find on the roof? Ah, the roof, here we go. So the two marks on it are there on the side, being extra fussy and pedantic, and just a little bit here. Just a little touch there. I think you'd carefully glue that back down. You wouldn't want to alter this. It's bone dry, everything's fine. All nice curtains, opening windows. They open and seal as they should do. Again, on the passenger side, no problem. So this has been outside at my place for the best part of a year. No problems. The all important wine cabinet. And that goes all the way along. Extra space. We've got a mirror there. Hello again. Ah, we push it at the bottom. There we go. And that goes all the way in. Another cupboard. And another side out. Yeah, just lovely, lovely features. And a very original vehicle. Dashboard's all nice, just on the extra piece that has been added at some stage. We've just got a couple of screw holes here. Perhaps, I don't know what it's been, a little, maybe a sat-nav screen or something, an extra cup holder, but that's about it. But that must have been protected from the sun, because that dashboard has not been in the elements for 31 years, that's for sure. All the door cards, even down to the VW grips on the pedals. And that gearbox is just fantastic. It just does what you ask for it. Fire extinguisher. And that's where you put the table leg. Okay then. So I did say it was something special. So let me just go into micro detail as best as I can. Because I know you uh, older VW fanatics are particularly fussy customers. Um, so, depending on how, just a couple of little edge marks there, but it's all metal. We're, we're talking really pedantically fussy. Uh, all the wheel arches are good now. Where are we? Bearing in mind, this has been outside for a year. So, on each wheel, ah, there you go. A little couple of micro blisters. And that's it. All the sills down the side is okay. Now, what have I found on this side? Just a couple of little touchings, that's it. I think underneath here, I'm just gonna struggle to get the camera angle. It's just, you can just see the, that could be, uh, if I was keeping it for a while, I'd be taking that back and just uh, resolving that. We are being, again, fussy. There's not many in that condition. But it just again depends on what you're going to do. 
if you're going to enjoy it as it is protect it wax oil it and wd-40 protection or just uh, take it to the next level for uh, shows on this arch where have we got there you go a couple of little micro blisters it's been out here outside for a long time so uh, we've got a little micro blister here behind the driver's fuel cap so the passenger cap is the LPG and there we go micro blister on that side but other than that the wheel actually is fine underneath here but look at those bumpers and those skirts all original there's no chemicals being added to that that's just as they are original door mirrors underneath the windscreen yeah all solid for a fussy inspection being carried out so on the roof it's all dry we've just got a couple there's the worst just a couple of cracks a very light cracks you probably I don't know fill that in with a bit of white color magic just been again extra critical but I do like to show off the good and the bad and again on the rear roof I'm just gonna carry out there we go bleach up the gamble gimbal and carry it down just a bit of yellowing on the rear of the luggage. So depending on your fussiness levels, you might wish to change that or tea cut it back to the original colour. So there you have, it's a 1990 VW T25 Transporter, originally converted by Auto Homes. So this is an original spec from brand new converted as a motorhome on sale with no reserve. My name's Anthony Valentine, the camper nerd. I'll be happy to answer any questions. And as we are possibly in this lockdown situation again, when the auction ends, I will deliver this anywhere in the country free of charge. Yes, I will drive this from John O'Groats to Land's End. No problem whatsoever. I know it drives lovely and it will stand up to an inspection. So just a £500 deposit and I'll be happy to deliver this anywhere in the country or you can collect it when you wish or when it's uh, deemed legal or safe. It's not for me to tell you, but you're more than welcome to view before the auction end. Let's see what uh, Boris says in this week's announcements and this crazy world we live in. But yes, there you go. I don't think there's much more to describe or mention. It's a shame about the uh, physical paperwork, but if I do come across it, I'll just forward it on because it's no good to me. So that's the original logbook and the service history. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on that next video.